everybody. How are you all today? Tall. How are you all today? I'm Michelle Wills. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator from Tasmania, Australia. And I'm on early today. Normally I go on 3 o'clock normally, but I thought I'd pop on at 2 o'clock today. Hi Wendy, how are you? As like I normally do my lives on Wednesday, but um, hi Chrissy, how are you? Normally do my lives on um, Wednesday, but I had no power yesterday afternoon for a couple of hours, so I decided to do my Facebook Live today. So, so how are you both? I've got the sun shining in my eyes today, so I don't know how I'm going to go because normally when I do my live at three o'clock, the um the light like the sun coming in is sort of over so I might have some shadows today so hopefully I don't so but um so thanks for sharing so anybody that shares um like type shared in the comments and um shares my video um will go into a draw to win a little prize or actually not a little prize um you go in um like I'll pick a name out of my um whoever shares and they'll get whatever card I'm making today so I've got one to do um, I'm a little bit slack of um, as you all know I've been a little bit sick so but um, I'll do it as I go so it's a mean it won't matter but anyway so anyway I'll I'll pop you um, turn you around and you're about to see the beautiful sunshine outside and um, I'll pop you down and then we'll get started so I'm doing um, a floating, I know it's a big craze at the moment, um, the floating frame technique. Well, I've decided that I wanted to do one too. I've been wanting to do it, so. But um, anyway, we'll get started on that. And plus, I've got another little thing that I'm going to do with, instead of making two cards, I'm going to make a card and something else, so you'll see. So already, alrighty then, I'm going to turn you around. I'm going to move that, actually, don't even know where my, so I'll turn you out, actually, come on, turn around, so it's my beautiful sunshine outside, so I'll turn you down, and hopefully, okay, hopefully you won't get shadows, so I may have to shut my curtain a little bit it might be a bit too dark we'll just have to wait and see so I'll have a look on here and see if I can find myself so and we'll get started there I am okay so I'm all ready to go so hopefully I'm in view so as you probably already know but the ones that don't know we've got a new storage coming out by stamping up and I've got these coming like hopefully I'll have mine by Monday so I'll be able to show you when they arrive but um, yeah no this is absolutely um, I've been looking at all the um, yeah girls that have been unpacking theirs and I just can't wait to get mine so if you've got a little like a little craft area and you want to um, like put all your ink pads and your, um, what do you call them, blends and your um, markers and your ink pads, uh, your ink refills, ribbon, you name it. You can put them, like you can put all these and, but yeah, each little set comes in a pack of five, so, or a set of five, so you'll get a set of the um, ink pad and marker storage trays. You'll get um, a set of five um, plastic, they're actually all white hard plastic so they're very strong apparently so but um here you'll get the set of five um blend storage so and then you can get a little open cube here and this is a um like a storage topper that goes on top of like it goes on top of any one of these and um you can store your ink refills in there and this is just a like a flat surface like that'll go on top so as you can see the picture there but as soon as I get mine I will tell you all about that and um, they're available 
um, yeah, for purchase. And plus, we've got the new, um, like, floral grid paper coming out. It's got the um, beautiful flowers. So you'll see I've just got the, the ordinary one. But, yeah, you'll get a flower. Um, it's quite cute too. So, but, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to um, keep going. So, if you haven't got a demonstrator and you live in Australia, um, I'm happy to send out my catalogues to you. Um, so, at the end of the video, I'll pop all my links that you can join my mailing list to um, get these. Or, if you would like, um, you can send me a message and I can pop these out in the mail to you. So, everybody that um, like subscribes to my... Um, and gets my copies they also get a little calendar that I've made um, and that's this one here so it actually just sits sits on your um, your desk wherever you'd like to sit it so you can sit in your kitchen you name it you can sit it wherever you like beside your bed so but um, so you'll get one of those um, plus there's a handmade card and a few other little bits and pieces in there. So all about um, stamping up and what I've got to offer. So if you like these catalogues, please, um, yeah, send me a message or subscribe to my mailing list. Okie dokie. So I'll just have a quick look, see if I haven't missed anybody. Hi, Gail. How are you? It's a hot 31. Wow. I don't know what we've got today. It was quite cool this morning, but um, it's quite um, warm now, so as you could see the sun. So I might just, I'll just see how I go because I'm just looking at, I've just rearranged my, um, so I might have to turn that down a little bit more. So I'm just readjusting all my. So, I'm just going to try and find my, um, I've lost my book, I don't know where I've put it. So, I might have to come back on and, um, like, I'll pop a, on the, um, video after this, I'll have to tag, like, draw a winner and I don't know where I'll put my, all my little things to, so, so anyway, what we're going to do today is, this is the first um, floating card that I made, so, and that was, yeah, using the Painted Seasons, but that's no longer available, it's um, retired now, so I made that one, and I also made this one too, so, so yeah, so this was made, like, the cutout from there that you cut out actually went into the middle of that one and then I had a play around and I done one with the balloons and this one's made with the oh, I can't think the birthday banners and Broadway birthdays the balloons are from the um the ban birthday banners and the um oh whatever they're called I'm losing my mind today um Party hats are from the Broadway birthdays. Then I decided to do one um, using the retired um, celebration butterflies. So, hi Carol, hi Pam, how are you? So I decided to um, use the retiring butterfly DSP. Well, if you don't know what DSP is, it's the designer series paper. So, um, I made... This one, so and then I um I made I'm in the process of making finishing this one, so because I don't know what I'm going to put on this one yet, but I want to put a greeting either across here, like along here, or one down here. I'm not quite sure, but then I was thinking I might put a border around. It. So I ha haven't quite finished that one yet. So um so yeah, so I'll get back to you with that one, but um. And then yesterday for my practice one, I did this one. So this one was using 
um, the Pop of Petals um, stamp set and the Pop of Petals die or Four Petals flower. So, so yeah, and I quite liked how that one came out. And if you noticed, I've used all the colours of the um, the ink colours, the retiring ink colours um, for 2017-2019. So, yeah. So once these colours, like once the new catalogue comes out, these ones will be no longer available. So, I, so if you want to get them, get in early and get them because once they're gone, they're gone. So, yeah. So I've stocked up on all my um, inks, ink refills and everything. So, so this is the one I'm making today, but I'm going to do it a bit different. And we're also going to, with the inside of the circle... I've made, I've used a little box, and this is one of the, oh, have to have a look. this is one of the um, mini pizza boxes, so that's what I use for the base of um, that one, so, hi Carol, I did say hi Carol, yeah, my things are lagging a little bit, so, so yeah, so that's what we're going to do today, so we'll get started. I'll pop them up there so I can just have a little look to, to see what I'm doing. So I'll pop that there. Sorry about the arm across the... Hi Lisa, how are you? So alrighty, I'll pop these ones aside. And because all the... Um, actually I might move my... I'm going to move the camera up just a little bit. Because oh, hopefully I've turned it down. Yep, it's down. So I'm just going to have it up a bit because I notice, like, I just want to take it up a little bit so my screen's not up and down, up and down, like, and it seems to... So like I said, I've got all my... I'm not quite sure what base I'm going to put it on, so I might ask you for... Um, so all I've got is just a white piece of, all my cards are five and a half by eight and scored at um, four. So they become five and a half by four. And this is, this piece is five and a half by four or two, I think. Yeah, it is, because I, the way I'm going to do it. So that's five and a half by four. So I'll pop that aside. And like I said, we're using the popper petals and we're going to use the, um, four petals flower so but I've got a little trick though because I've noticed when I was doing this the other day I so I'll grab the two um, flowers and I'm going to use for this one so I'm just going to do a couple colors so I might just do these two but I am using all the colors of the um, the so, when you punch, like when you've got your punch and it's like, um, like you open it up and you go to punch out, well you need to line up your stamp with, um, so when you punch out, so this is what I've done. I actually punched out a shape, like so I just punched that out and I set that down there. And then I've got my stamps and I worked out which way it's going to cut. So I worked it out and then I actually lined it up so that lines up with it perfectly. And all I've done is, if you can notice there, I put a little black mark. So when I put that onto my stamp pad, that, like, that'll go that way. So when I stamp it, I make sure that this is facing me so I can stamp. So when I go to like stamp it, which I'll show you now, and I've done that with um, this one as well. So, so the little just to make it a lot easier. So I'll pop that one there. I'm not going to stamp them all today because I've got them all pre-cut. But I just yeah, thought I'd show you. So these are the two ones that I've chose. So because that little things facing me I just stamp down I might just do a couple of these ones 
So, and there you go. So, I'll grab my, it just makes it a lot easier to um, work out. Just clean that off with my chamois. And I'll pop that on the side. And I'll just I'll do this one. I did want a couple of um, more of the lemon lime twists. So, let's see if I can, probably won't be able to fit another one in there. But we'll see. So... And as it is, I've already got my finger in the ink. Okay, probably not going to get it. Or am I? I might be able to. Look at that. So there, I'll see if I can get another one up in that corner there. I did get the smallest piece of scrap. So, no, I'm not going to get, not going to get another one in there. No, he's gone off the edge. But doesn't matter. You get the idea of... Um, so, pop them to the side. Over there. So, I'll clean that one off. I like to clean mine off as soon as I... It is a good tip, Gail. Like, I... I actually was sitting here yesterday when I was... Um, not yesterday, Tuesday. I was sitting here and I... For every time I stamped them, I ended up stamping them the wrong way, and and then I had to cut all the and try to work them out. So, but that was my little tip, and I thought, well, I'd share, but it worked out in the end. So easy to do. So then, now, I should be able to just pop that in there, and voila, it's the right way around. So if you was to have a sheet and you've done them all along, like this sheet here, just say. You stamp, 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 and then turned it around. Stamp, stamp, stamp. Well, you know that once if you start from your left side and go to your right, um, yeah, you'll be able to. So, all right, enough chit chat. I'll cut these couple out. So I'll just show you what I've done. So I, I cut out a whole heap out in um, all the retiring ink colours, which will be retiring. Um, at the end of um, June, uh, end of May, I think the, the start of June, the new catalogue comes out. Well, it comes out, um, we get to see it um, on the 3rd of May. We get to um, purchase the... So, so alrighty. So, like I said... I already done a whole heap all in the ink colours. So so we've got um, like the berry burst, um, tranquil quat tide, fresh fig, lemon lime twist and the powder pink. And I'm gonna miss the lemon lime twist. I do like the granny apple, but I think the lemon lime twist actually looks a lot um, brighter. So but yeah, I am gonna miss that one. So, alrighty, so this piece here, we are, all we're going to do is we're just going to pop all the flowers. That one's still wet. We're just going to pop all the flowers and just rearrange them to how we want them. So, I just, yeah, randomly done a whole heap of them. So, pop that one there. And I just stuck them on. I've got ones that are a little bit lighter in colour, a bit darker. So I stamped off with some of them. So, and all I'm going to do is just rearrange those. Pop that one there. It doesn't matter if they're off the page because um, we'll cut them down. So, need another pink one over here. Need another green one. I've got too many greens there. So, but the whole, whole idea is to just not have any white bits showing. No, so, okay, what other colour did I need? Pop that one there. I seem to be using the same flowers. Actually, I might use the same flowers today. 
and um, pop that one there. Pop in there. I don't want that one. Okay, I seem to have a lot of. Move him up there. I'm trying to eliminate all the um, spots. So I think this this part here takes the the longest. Really working out what you what you want to do. Um, so, but once you've um, and even if you wanted to, you could cut. Actually, I might just pop that one in there. I should have had all these done but if they if you do pop the thing on and um, they don't um, they jump or something it doesn't really matter so if they overlap that doesn't matter either okay what have I got if I pop him squeeze him in there squeeze that one there actually I might squeeze him in there actually I'll take that one there and pop him there. Like I said, this this one just takes a little bit of um, your time, like to try to get. Oh, gee. And if you touch one, you touch the rest. But I would say this is probably the most. Yeah, working out what you, how you want them. So I might. I was going to swap over, actually, I don't know if I, no, not that one, might pop him, oh, see how, but don't let this discourage you, like, get in and give it a go, because, um, yeah, it's a lot of fun, as you can see, I'm addicted, so I've done that many, so, I think I'm happy with that. So, I'm just going to leave that all there like that. So it doesn't, that one's overlapping, but it doesn't matter. Okay, push him down a little bit more. Alrighty, that's it. That's all I'm going to do. So, hi Chris, how are you? This is the first time you've watched me. Bottom red one. Actually, I've got too many of those colours. Oh. That's it. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna do that one. So you love the very variegated coloured flower? Yeah, no, they're beautiful. Hi Jenny, how are you? Hello to anybody else that I've um I keep forgetting to look at my so because like living in Tasmania we I couldn't find any of the press and seal that everybody else has been using. But years ago, my um, son used to make um, his own stickers, and he had a sticker machine and used to do all, had a program and done all his stickers and that. So I was sitting here thinking the other day, and I thought, I'm sure we've got some the transfer um, paper that, like, you, you transfer your stickers onto, like, windows or walls or whatever. So anyway, I found it, and... Um, so I give it a go and voila, it works. So this here is just a, an off cut because it comes in a big roll and I've got a really big roll. Hi Wendy, how are you? You have four red need odd numbers. Four red. Oh, going down there. So you reckon take this one out here? Okay. Yeah. I'm working out what to do now. So. What about a pink one in there? How's that? Got three there. Three there. One there, and 
I'm gonna put one of those down there. How's that? Then there's two, there's four of those pink. Okay, three, three. Right, how's that one? I'm just going to go with that. So, okay. Okay. We'll see how I go. So, like I said, um, so um, like I said, the um, I had all this. Um, so I decided that I'd use that. But um, so all I'm doing now is trying to get it off. So once it, it comes off, quite easy once you, you get a corner. So, so all I'm doing is going to peel the backing off this and I'll get my finger down in there. So all I've done is just peel the backing off. See all of this and it's not like really that sticky. So it sticks but um, yeah it's really tacky. So, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop that and they might lift up a little bit and then I'll just, just stick it down. So you can have a look at it then, and if you're not happy, you, you can actually peel it off, and so. So, that's, and that's all I've done, but stuck it down. So you can tell it doesn't stick, like it's stuck all the flowers down, um, but it hasn't um, stuck the paper. Like, so you can see how it come out really well so all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to grab my scissors and I like to use the big scissors so and I'm all I'm just going to do is just chop around the outside not just using the um, sticky as my guide If you wanted to, you could keep all those little bits. And um, but I got inspired um, doing these cards by um, Emma Goddard. I've never seen. I know a lot of people have said they've been inspired making these by Jennifer Maguire, but um, I never ever seen her. I did go back and have a look and research hers, um, but no. So there you go, all I've done is cut all that, so I'm not going to keep these, so I'll get rid of that, I'll get rid of that one too, so, so that's that, so all I've done there was that, and I, um, I know a lot of people cut, but I seem to be wasting a lot of, um, like cutting all the shapes and cutting this out, so all I've done is I can't put my big shot up here because if I do, it'll shake the table when I'm using it. So I'm just going to get my blocks down. These are well worn. So so I'm using all the blocks that I normally use, like my um, platform, my thin adapter, and my plate. And then all I do is I'm, I just stick it down there. And I'll keep that because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that one. And then I used my um, my love heart. So I'm going to go that way today with it. So I'll just turn it around. So I'm just showing you where I... So I'll just put it where I want it. So... And... Like to situate it where I want it, and when you're happy where you want it, 
and then you just pop your um take them over a little bit there so, and then just pop that on and then I'll run in through my big shot it's cut out maybe I should have went it a second go oh no no it's coming so then all I done maybe I should have went a different second I will I'll go back again and do a second pass of that I can get it back on. Oh, I will. There we go. Or either it'll be right or I've mucked it up, but that's okay. And this might be a little bit thicker than um, the normal press and seal that. Um, there you go. It's done that time. So I'll keep that little piece and this is the piece that we're going to work with. And then all I've done, no I didn't do that, is this piece here, I run that through using my, um, my big rectangle. So I just cut that out. So I'll cut that out too. So then I'll be all ready to go. Off the table. Wrong way around. Okay. Righty-o, so now I'm all ready to go. Thanks for sharing, Chris. Hi, Margaret, how are you? You had a brown box delivery and you missed what I used for the sticky. I used to, uh, actually I'll go and get it. I will go get it. It's jumped away. Oh no, there it is. I don't know if you could see it. This is the big roll um, of, yeah, it's 60 centimetres wide. So that wide. And I've got that about that much, if you can see it. So, but um, it's actually, uh, um, like my son done, um, yeah, sticker maker. He, and um, that was all left over. So that's how much I've got that you can see on screen now um, is what I've got left. So I'll be making lots of these cards. So all I've done, um, yeah. So all I've done is, yeah, cut a shape out. So now I'm going to oh, find my dimensionals. Isn't that funny how you, you can clean up a craft room? Hi Donna, how are you? Congratulations for Maui. That's exciting. So unfortunately I won't be coming with you because I, yeah. Didn't do it, but anyway. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop dimensionals all on the back of here. So, but these are these are very fiddly little cards, but they do make the most beautiful cards. And like I said, I'm hooked. Oh no! I'm, actually, I have to see if I can turn my volume down. So, sorry about that. Hopefully you won't get no dings in your ears now. It is exciting. Where can you buy it? What, the sticker stuff? Um, well, I my son actually bought it online. Um, and I think a lot of it come from Hobart that we got. Um, 
but I am not quite sure. It was many years ago, but if you go on eBay, you can probably get, um, if you type in um, a sticker, like with a transfer paper, the sticker transfer um, paper, um, yeah, you might be able to get, and I know that, like, that comes in quite a big roll, and it wasn't that very expensive with um, postage either, but, like I said, I weren't going to um, get, like, any when um, I could, like, I had that, so, like, any of the press and seal, and I thought, well, it was no point me, like, buying it, like, at, when I already had that, so, but that's, that's my alternative um, for, don't freak out that these use a lot of dimensionals. Um, like I said, dimensionals ain't, or like I'm going to say, dimensionals are quite cheap to buy. And you can use the whole sheet anyway, but I like to have lots on. It's probably going to take me forever to get them all off, but this is the only card that I'm doing today. So, yeah, I really wanted to spend my time, like once you get past this bit, where well, the rest get really... Like, it's really quite quick to put together, so... Oh, try to pop that one. Oh, he's just right on the edge. I'm quite lucky, so... so hopefully I haven't... You order press and seal? Yeah, no, I was going to order it, but... Is it Art Supplies in Hobart? I'm not quite sure if I got it from where he got it, but I know he got it from um, some place there, and we did get some from... Um, over in Queensland or um, Melbourne, I think. I know, like, he got it years ago, and I can't re really remember. Um, like, he was really into sticker making, but now he's he's grown up and he's got his own couple of children now, and he doesn't didn't want to do that anymore. So, and it was a good hobby for him because he he did he did make a little bit of pocket money for himself. So, but um. Yeah, so now he's he goes to work and doesn't need to make stickers for a, for a hobby. <laughs> so a lot of dimensionals on here, but I just want them all to stick down. I don't want them to pop up. So, but yeah, and even the little ones, you can just use the little dimensions. So. I'm not, yeah, I don't think I need that big one, pop that one there, I'll get these little little ones, and pop them there, I just want a couple little ones on, just little ends, because I don't want them to lift up on the card when, um, when it's all done, so the next fun bit will be getting all these dimensionals off, so... <laughs> one there hi Joyce how are you so, gee that's a record I'm so excited today thanks ladies for popping on I've actually got 47 people watching me that's a shock I've never had that many people before so thank you very much for joining me I appreciate it so and like I said earlier, if anybody that shares and um, types shared in the comment and likes my um, and shares my video um, will get one of these cards that I'm making today. So I will send out in the mail for you. So I'll draw that next on my next Facebook Live. I think that's all. So and I actually might do this one while I'm at it. So. So I don't have to come back and do do that one as well. So So yeah. So has anybody been crafting today? I've um we had a lady that um I went into work today for an hour. Um We've got a lady that's going into retirement and um, 
was her last day today, so I had to go over and um, say goodbye to her. Very nice lady she is. So, but yeah, she's been there 11 years, so, and she just finally decided that that's it, it's time to say goodbye. So, yeah. So I went over there today to um, to say goodbye. So, and I was going to say, like, if you hear, um, my cat's decided she didn't want to go out of the craft room. She um, decided she wanted to stay in here. So if you hear a really loud meow, it'll be her. She's, yeah wanting to get up on my chair. As soon as I get up off my chair and um, get out, she's, yeah, she's she's right in it. I sooner get out, she's popping in, so, little turd she is, so. You haven't done any crafting? I didn't, no, I didn't use the press and seal for my card. I used, um, I use the a tra like a sticker transfer paper, so that my yeah, like I said earlier in the start of the video, my son. Um, but if you go back and have a look, um, you'll see the roll of it. So, and um, but yeah, so if you watch this back on YouTube, um, please like and um, share and click on the little bell and subscribe to my YouTube ch channel too. So. So alrighty, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop that on top of there. So it's going to be a little bit long, but that's not going to matter because um, I'm going to cut cut those down. Actually, I might have done that a little bit wrong today. Or did I? I'm just... Actually, I did. Okay, change of, we're not going to use that one this time. I did muck up a bit. So, yeah. So we're going to put that straight onto a piece of card. And luckily I kept that, the love heart that, that I cut that out of. Okay, just trying to, I did have a love heart that I... I'll try to find it. So, I did. I've already that there. Actually, no. I'll have to cut a piece. I'm actually confusing you all today. So, I'm going to go this way. So, which one do you like? Do you like it on... I was going white, but um, I'm not now. So, do you like it on the Tranquil Tide? The fresh fig, the lemon lime twist, the petal pink, or the berry burst. So, let me know which one you would prefer. And um, I'll cut this love heart out and I'll be back. I would do something like this on on a live. It wouldn't be a live with for me if I didn't make mistakes. <laughs> so nothing ever goes to plan for me, but that's okay. So 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 I'm gonna go, go through them again. Berry burst, petal pink, oh not petal pink, powder pink, lemon line twist. Tranquil Tide or Fresh Fig. Actually, I quite like Fresh Fig. So, 
So what do you think? Okay, what do we got? I'll go back. Ooh, looks like fresh fig, fresh fig. Okay, fresh fig it is. So, so hello everybody else that's joined. Um, I will say, um, go back and check my comments and thank you all. So, alrighty, fresh, fresh, fresh fig it's going to be. So, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to take all those dimensionals off. So, bear with me. So, that, um, so yeah. Okay, I've got a little bit there that I need another, I've missed a little tiny bit there. It'll probably come off if I, you can tell, like, see that um, this is, so, I normally, oh, don't do, I normally just hold on to one dimensional, like, on each, like, page, well, not each page, each little section, and then when I get down to the end, like to the next one, I'll just hold up, like put my finger down on the, the cardstock there. Might need another little one there. You, you actually go through it and you look and you think, okay, I didn't put one on there or there. Okay, so hopefully. Now I've got a dimensional stuck to my finger. Where did he come from? Okay. Oh. I don't know where he come from, but I'll have to fix him up in a minute. Okay. Done him, done that one. Sorry, this just, this takes... Like I said, putting them on and taking the backings off is the bit that takes the most time. But once, um, and if you use bigger, um, like bigger, um, like stamp sets, um, might work out better. I know I'm going to try the one that Bruno, um, Bacucci did with the, um, wonderful romance um stamp set i reckon that that would like i want to try that one as well and do some coloring in with my blend so i'm ex so excited to get my blend storage like i don't know um if you've seen on my business page here i got mine stored in these two little um they're actually little bottle holders that you have buy in the freezer at uh, the fruit the kitchen section in um kmart and they hold your bottles of um like wine and things in your fridge and they stack on top of one another well that's what i've got my dimensional up uh, my dimensional that's what i've got my um blends in so I, I can't wait to get the storage um the blend storage to put mine in so so Hello from California. Thanks for joining me, Jenny. And hello, Mary from Chicago. Woohoo! That's one of my, that's on my bucket list is to go to America and, um, like, a whole heap of places. So, I've been trying to talk my husband into coming with me. So, yeah. But he, um, he said, we, there's still lots of Australia that we haven't seen yet, so... That's where I was going to put that one. Oh, and I took that one off. So. Okay. And I need a tiny little bit there. So I'll just snip a little bit off that. And. So. Okay. So I'll pop that little bit down in there. I just got a little oh, you're gonna to stick to me now, aren't you? Okay. Right. Try to put that there without it sticking to me. Okay. Like I said, this is the hardest bit. 
once you've done that, the rest all goes together really well. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip that over. That dimensional is standing up there. Oh, look. I'll chop him off in a minute. Try to chop him off now, actually. And I've lost my scissors. I don't really use the big ones. Because um, they'll end up being... So I'm just going to try to chop that one off. Try. So all I'm going to do is I might have to stand up for this one. Okay, where are you? He's on that side. Make sure all the... So I'm going to try to pop him over the card. It's a bit hard when you've got the camera right above you. And I'm just hoping... No. I'm not going to get that down now. So, but that's okay. I will snip a little bit off that. Never. Okay. Didn't go to plan today, but um, because I'm, it's really hard when you've got the camera above you. So, so all I'm going to do is while I've got this, it's not too bad. It's not how I really wanted it, but I can give like I can run that down. Um, in my, my my trimmer and cut it down on that. So I've got a big guillotine so so I'm just gonna cut that bit off there. Um, so I don't wanna cut the card but what I'll do actually I'll take that off first. So very hard to do. So all I'm going to do so, is I'm just going to get my little my little scissors and I'm just going to I'll just oh, dimension off there. I'm just going to get under there. So I don't, I don't cut um, the card. Okay. Never fear. And see, I don't like that little bit there. No, I really don't like that little bit, so I don't know. I'm actually, no, it's, it'll end up ruining it if I remove it. So I won't do anything more to that. I'll cut that down in my guillotine later. So I thought I might just pop that, if I can pop that back in there. And I need to snip off that bit there. For anybody that knows me, me doing a live, it's always got to be something that doesn't turn out right. So I don't think I've ever had one where everything's gone perfect. So, so I'm just, let me see if I can get that. See, I won't get that back in there. It's not going to go. Or will it? I don't know if I like that there. What do you think? Does that look alright? I don't know. It sort of didn't go to plan how I wanted to do it. So, but, yeah. Actually, I don't think I do quite like it. So, what do you think? With it? Or without it? And just have a little, um, a little sentiment like this one. Like across there or something. So... 
So what do you think? With the love heart or without? So that's without and that's with. Actually, I think I quite like it with the love heart. So I'll stamp a sentiment on there and um, we'll see how we go. So, so I use the Strong and Beautiful um, stamp set and I'm going to use the, which one was it? God made you my mother, love made you my friend. So I think I might use that one again. So, and then we'll just see a smaller light pink heart with, with. I can try a smaller heart. I'll, but the same as the, um, the petal, the powder pink. Or I'll try a white one. I'll do a little white part and we'll just see. So, why not? I can do that. So, if I can find my um, my dies, they've just walked off. So, so, oh no, there they are. Okay, so, we'll try this one here and see how. Actually, I'll cut both of those ones out and we'll see how they go. No point harm in cutting two while I'm going. So, okay. Are you there? Are you there? Alrighty. I'll cut these out and we'll see how we go. Okay. Yeah, you just want to jump around. Pop back up there. So, so that's a little one. Oh, we've got that's too little. So, I quite like that little one. Now, actually, I think that quite's quite sweet. So, what do you think about that one? So, you went. Uh, you reckon a powder pink? Without, without, with, with, with. Okay. We'll try a powder pink. Okay. I'll try a powder pink. So. Okay, get over there. It's been a, one of those days today. There's the powder pink. Actually, I quite like the powder pink now. You look, ladies, you're making me... Ooh. <laughs> so, do you reckon a powder pink that size? So, what do you think? Thumbs up if you don't like it. <laughs> or love hearts if you do. So, there you go. Thumbs up, no. Love hearts, yes. So, so, much better, smaller heart, yes, so, okay, this wait, hearts, hearts, thumbs up, hearts, 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 thumbs up, oh, look, <laughs> okay, radio. I'm going to, I'll stamp two, and we'll see how we go, don't know if that one will fit in there now, so, I'll, to, I'll find a different, um, Smallest stamp set now. So what have we got here? I don't think these. Actually, I'll try this one because I wanted to do this one the other day, but um, might be a little bit too little. But um, we can see. So okay. I'll pop him. Not straight, are you? Okay, 
Okay. Try to get an imp straight on the block. Nope. Okay. Right. Here goes nothing, ladies. If this doesn't work out well, I've tried. Okay. Go on the line. Okay. It's still not straight. Right, here goes nothing. Okay. I'm just going to type, I'm going to do You Are Loved. And that's not straight over. So. There you go. What do you think of that? I know it's it's crooked. So. So. It's either that one or I will go the white one. And. I'm going to try the white one. Actually, I'm going to try the white one in. I'll try the white one, but I'm going to do it in this one. We'll just see. Hopefully, I'll get this one straight. So that's a pink one, or that's a white one. So, so there you go. So that's what I'm going to go with now. So, so it's either the white or the petal pink, which is I'm not going to stick that one in there because um, it's too crooked. And I don't think I can turn it over no. So, so there. Stamp the sentiment on the smallest white one and pop it in the heart of the pink. Stamp the sentiment on the smallest white one and pop it in the... So that's an idea. I could do that too. Okay, we'll try that one. Thank you ladies for helping me today. So, I'll see if that one will work. I'll probably muck this one up and um, actually I'll, I'll try I reckon I might Okay. Okay, I'll see how I go. Actually, I quite like that. So, so there you go. That's what we're going to go with. So, so I'll let, put that one there. And this one here, all I've done. So, I'll leave that one there for a sec. And all I've done, i got a, um, a mini pizza box. i just got one of these. And... Do that one up, like fold it up while I'm so just fold all the sides, fold them all up. And 
and then they just they just clip into like fold them down. That clips folds over and it clips into the little little notches. If it's ever gonna do it. And then you can put any little thing in here, some like some jewelry, um, anything you want. Well, I've got um, my mother and my mother-in-law, so um, I might just fill them up with something. Okay. Does anybody else have one of those days? I think I have one of those days every day. So I might just. Okay, so there, I've got that one. I'm just going to take all the dimensionals off here really quickly. And just show you how easy it is to um, okay. And this one like, doesn't take long at all. So what I'll do is I'll um, I'll post a picture later. Um, I'll pop those. Actually, I'll do those in a second. Come on. Are we all you all still with me? <laughs> you probably all got sick of me. These are all gone. That's okay. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop him on there. And then I'll just peel him off. Oh, that one hasn't got little dimensional. I don't think I'll want him there anyway. Oh, he's good. No, he's... Actually, I don't really... There you go. Little love heart on the box. So, and then um, just stamp the sentiment. I'll get that one back. Happy Mother's Day. Is the right, the right way. And then I just stamped it on. Okay. Really had it upside down. And then I just stamped. Stamped it there. And then I just cut the ends off there. And then I got my um, tailored tag punch, and then I just and then I just popped him on there. So, and that's how I did that one. So, so this one I'm I'm gonna um, fix. So I'll glue that. Actually, might put a mini dim uh, some dimensionals on that one. Just pop him up. I'll just stick one on him, and then I'll stick him in the middle. I need to clean my table up. So, and then I'll put a little bit of bit of glue on the back of that. Try to get him in the center. And then you work out where you want to have that. So I'm just pop the okay. I'll go 
that. Actually, I might, might pop him up on a dimensional as well. Okay. So I'm just going to pop one in the center because I might rearrange him later anyway. And I might chop a little bit off that side. So there you go. After all that, I'll get rid of, try to clean up this side. So, onto the floor with you. Because I have to, get, I've got to vacuum the house anyway. So, so there you go. This is what happens when you're not under pressure and um, so they're the ones that I made um, on Tuesday and they're the ones I've just made with you now. So I hope you really enjoyed um, watching me. I know I was um, yeah, made some mistakes along the way but you can have everything planned and things don't seem to go to, <laughs> to plan but, um, but yeah. So... I hope you all give it a go and um, yeah, and do a lot better than what I just tried to show you is how to do it. So, but um, yeah, that's what I mean. Normally, when I'm sitting here doing it in, um, on my own, everything just seems to flow just nicely. But as soon as I hop on and do it online, um, yeah, that's it, it just goes out the window. So, but yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if there's anything that um, you would like um, and or any of the products that you liked um, today, you can um, buy them from me. Um, so just pop on, um, send me a message or pop on my online store. I'll have all the links um, on my, um, on this at the end of the video. So um, you'll be able to, um, yeah, so, but any, like I said, please share and um, type share in the comments and like my video so um, I can get out there and be seen by um, a lot more people. Um, and if you do see this on YouTube later, um, yeah, please subscribe and um, like my, my channel. So, but um, thanks for joining me. And um, anyway, until next time. I will catch you later. I'll, I'll see you next Wednesday at 3 o'clock. Alrighty then. Thanks everybody. Bye.